Studying abroad in Guatemala was truly a life-changing experience. Last spring, a course hosted by the Art Education Department caught my eye. It was called Art Transformation, Social Change Through Arts and Literacy. My roommate and I were approved to attend the Summer 2011 program. I was also fortunate enough to receive a scholarship that funded nearly one-third of my expenses. Our professors were the fabulous and unforgettable Jan Johnston and Sharon Zembrun. They were always full of life and ensured us that it was going to be an amazing trip. Prior to our trip, we were given one week of class in Richmond. We were split up into groups and had to prepare lesson plans for the children. We were also given a crash course in the history and culture of Guatemala and learned some conversational phrases to help us get by. From the moment we stepped off the plane and packed into our tour bus, we found Guatemala to be absolutely breathtaking. We woke up to amazing landscapes and explored areas that Guatemala is well known for, like their coffee fields. AMA is a nonprofit organization that partnered with VCU to organize our trip. They were very hospitable and always made us feel right at home. They took us through the towns where the women's circle then educated us about their traditional form of hospice production. They showed us their natural dyeing process, how they spun the thread, and the different styles of looms they used. They informed us on how the hospe weavings were a traditional form of storytelling passed down from generation to generation. From the patterns that they wove, you could even tell what town they were from. Near the end of our trip, we were also able to relax and visit the hot springs. Yet although our excursions were an amazing part of our trip, nothing topped the moments that we spent with the children. Getting to see their beautiful faces every day was what really kept us going. Each school warmly welcomed us with presentations arranged by the teachers and children. We then split off into classrooms where we taught our lesson plans. We quickly overcame the language barrier and found that the children were able to teach us just as much, if not more, than we were teaching them. I will never forget the connections that I established with those children and how they nearly made my heart stop when I heard them sing. It was at that moment that I knew the real purpose of why I was on this trip and how I was destined to teach. These are the moments that keep me going every day and drive me to continue my career in education and the arts. I'm looking forward to the day that I will study abroad again so I can continue to learn and bring these moments back home to share with others.